Hello and welcome. I'm Andy and today we're going to take a look at river valley profiles. There are three sections of a river, the upper, the middle and the lower. Each section has very different characteristics and processes. The river upper course is where the river begins. It's very steep and mountainous. The middle course is flatter and the river begins to slow down, but it gets bigger and bigger because more and more water enters the system. The lower course is extremely flat and it is where the river meets the sea. Let's start where it all begins, in the upper course. In the upper course of the river, the source of the river can be found. The upper course is typically in the mountains or hilly areas. The water here is moving extremely fast and is flowing down steep sided valleys and the river gradient is also very steep. Here you can see in the video behind me, there is an awful lot of water flowing through this system very fast. Here in this diagram, you can see it's a V-shaped valley. This reduces the lag time, it which is the time it takes for the water to reach the river from when it enters the system as precipitation. Due to the fast flowing water, there is lots of erosion taking place. Erosion is the main process taking place in the upper course. The erosion can create some very interesting features, such as waterfalls, rapids, deep gorges. This clip behind me is from my trip to Yunnan. You can see the power of the water and how it is cutting the Tiger Leaping Gorge over millions of years. The water in the upper course has also got lots of energy and this strength gives it the capability to carry large and heavy sediments in its flow. Moving down, it's, let's go to the middle course now. The middle course occurs when the land gets a bit flatter. We have U-shaped valleys which cause the water to flow to slow down. Therefore, there is less erosion taking place. The main process of the middle course is transportation. Another effect of the water slowing down is that it begins to meander more as the river begins to try to find the easiest path to the sea. Once the meanders develop, they can then turn into oxbow lakes. I have a separate video on this topic. If you're interested and want to know more, please check it out. Deposition occurs on the inside bend of these rivers where the water is moving slowest. Erosion can take place on the outside bend of the river where the water is moving fastest. Over time, these bends become bigger and bigger until the neck eventually is eroded and the river runs straight once more as it's trying to find the easiest path. Once the neck is cut, an oxbow lake is created with the water being left behind. Last but not least, let's take a look at the lower course. The lower course is where the river meets the sea and we have very flat alluvial floodplains. Deposition is the main process that takes place because it is so flat. The river loses all of its speed and has to deposit its sediments due to the lack of energy. The landscape flattens out until it's almost level. This creates a river delta and the river braids and splits as it tries to find its way to the sea. River deltas and wetlands are really significant features due to their importance to wildlife and the ecosystem, especially to birds and marine life that thrive in these environments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please add them down below. I would love to help you out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.